Hi friends. Okay, uh, today I want to discuss um, about these strokes. So I had got many doubts on these strokes because when I post any video and uh, there are many friends of mine who just have doubts regarding the um, strokes like, like I gave a tutorial on uh, this is uh, on a teardrop stroke and shell stroke right we had tutorial on teardrop stroke and shell stroke so when I post other videos you have that doubt that okay what stroke is this so I wanted to clear the doubt uh, see once you have learned to maintain these two colors uh, using this uh, these two strokes then you have to play with your brush see the flower play with your brush and do the the strokes will be same but the shape will change now the this is called as shell stroke because it looks like a shell and this is the basic stroke but using the same stroke we can go further and add um, the change the look of the stroke okay and so basically I am doing the shell stroke only because the movement of the brush is same but I will be moving to different directions to give different looks to the petals because one stroke is a decorative painting so you will be have you will have to paint your uh, flowers in different what you call as um, patterns so I just collect images from net of different flowers and then I try to paint them on the paper but I am just don't I don't stick to that particular flower but I just try to imitate that so now you see and uh, this was the teardrop stroke now I'm doing the same thing I'm see the movement of the brush is same but I'm going up okay and then I am coming down so this is a kind of petal that you can use in your flowers see so this is teardrop but instead of moving this way I am going up now what else I can do with the stroke as I said you that in uh, my last tutorial that just play with your color play with your brush let your imagination free now see I am going to do uh, I uh, like I want to paint a sharp petal so what I will do I will keep my brush straight and I'll keep and, and I will come down now you can test see when you keep your brush flat a little bit uh, pressing it towards the uh, pressing it down on paper and keeping your brush slanting down then it will be having a broader petal while when you keep your brush straight you will be having a thinner petal so go ahead and make a flower out of this make a flower out of this make a flower out of this and this and you are getting different flowers in one stroke painting put the flowers together with some leaf and then you are getting a different composition see it's simple as that now one more what I can do okay now instead of making a uh, making this kind of movement I'm just giving just pulling the color and giving it this way can't you make a flower like this make a flower like this in different color see it's a kind of a broad uh, teardrop stroke it's a kind of a broad teardrop stroke and and go for another layer in center and you will get a flower so play with your strokes when I show you a video um, a tutorial just don't much think about what stroke it is no you don't need to think all that you just have to see the movement of my brush am I going up am I going sideways is my brush straight is my brush because I, I show it uh, pretty very slowly so you can you can just pause the video and try to see how I am holding my brush try to do that and mix and match your own style with that and come up with something new okay uh, let me show you okay that day I had uh, one doubt from my uh, friend now I painted this okay 
now for the i will be doing that composition tutorial uh, for the iris but here i i'll show you see i went up and i just pulled my brush down so halfway i went i pulled my brush down the same thing i'm doing this side go up and pull your brush down see so you got this kind of petal so you have to watch what i am doing and you will get an understanding of the stroke uh, completely so the, the, all, all the stroke doesn't have a name but that movement of your brush in different direction just gives the stroke the look that you are getting now um, another stroke if i want to try okay i'll just make uh, three i'll one two three see this is also a petal okay now i want to make a leaf so normally how we make a leaf i go straight then this side also i come and i finish this leaf we had a tutorial for this leaf right now you can do the same thing with uh, by just moving your hand differently say for example i go in i go out and i come in and then i go straight you see the shape of the leaf okay done that you have to maintain that this side a bit in out you see the shape of your leaf so this is nothing this is not there is no special stroke i'm talking about now because we have uh, surpassed that stage of learning it uh, as a form of a stroke now you have to see and you have to imitate you see a flower and try to imitate put it together now this particular uh, leaf okay uh, petal which i added there i can turn it into a flower in any way i want i will go here i'll add one two three one two three how does this look if i put this in a composition this one is in a light pink and blue combination this into a maybe purple and white combination and this and i make a stem here doesn't it look like a beautiful flower a decorative flower and put it into a composition make a few flowers and leaves together you will get a beautiful composition so try to play with these strokes try to put them together and of course follow my uh, tutorials because i will think that for you i'll put it into a composition i'll post it for you you see that add that to your knowledge add something more from your creativity and come up with something new that way you will master this skill and you don't have to think much so i think that this will be helpful for many of you who are very much doubtful about these strokes and also uh, please come down and comment if you have any more doubt i'll be very much happy to answer you thank you keep painting